rock, and a cold frosty morning at three o'clock. Good morrow, masters all. Born is a page. Just a also went up from Galilee to the city of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem. He was from, he was of the house of, of David, family of David. He went, he went to register with Mary, his fiance, his fiance, who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came meant that it for her to have her baby. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no where else in? Amen. Good job, Kay. A voice cries out, In the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. For the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shone. You have multiplied this, the city. You have increased its joy. They will rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing the plunder. For the yoke of their burden, the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all, for all the boots of the tramping warriors, and the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And his authority shall grow continually. There will be endless peace for the kingdom of David and his throne. He will establish and uphold it from this day onward and forevermore. For the zeal of the Lord of hosts will allow this. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, although you are small, among the clans of Judah. Out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Therefore, Israel will be abandoned until the time she who is with child gives birth to a son, 
and the rest of his brothers returned to join the Israelites. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they will live securely, for then his greatness will extend to the ends of the earth, and he will be our peace. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the name of the virgin was Mary. He came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. Now Mary was very worried at his sound of his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. So the angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb bear a son. You will name him Jesus. He will be great. He will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever. Of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now, your relative, Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. And then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. And then the angel departed from her. This is a time of great stress and duress for Israel. Rome's exerting a whole lot of power over there and has come up with yet another way of enslaving them by having them come pay, register to pay taxes. In those days, a decree was sent out for all the world to be registered, taxed. This was the first registration of taxation that took place when Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Many reluctantly. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and she was with child, <coughs> pregnant. I was scared. While they were there, the time came 
for her to deliver her child. Mary gave birth to a firstborn son. She wrapped him in bands of cloth. She laid him in the manger because there was no room for him in the inn. Within that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, watching their flocks by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. See, I am bringing you news of a great joy for all people. Unto you this day is born in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find the babe wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly, there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace for everyone with whom he is pleased. After the angels had left and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Well, let's go. Let's go into Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, that the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off, and they found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or the will of man, but born of God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. From his fullness, we have received grace upon grace. The law, indeed, was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is the only Son who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. Who has made thee, son of 